The world has lost a champion for those held unjustly abroad, and I have lost a mentor and dear friend. Many here in New Mexico remember Bill Richardson as a two-term governor and a congressional delegate. But reporter Julian Pato says after he left politics, he continued his work as a diplomat on the international level. That's right, Doug Shelley, some remembering Richardson as a diplomat, describing him as a titan. KYT's political expert told me Richardson molded a legacy like no other. From United Nations Ambassador to Secretary of Energy, Bill Richardson built a reputation as a skilled diplomat. Brian Sandroff says Richardson's time in Washington prepared him for the international stage. That then gave Bill Richardson a very unique set of experiences to allow him to do other diplomatic efforts once he left government service. Sandroff knew Richardson since the former governor moved to New Mexico in 1978. He says one of Richardson's best qualities was as a social human being. Bill Richardson was a people person. He really cared about helping families whose relatives had been incarcerated, oftentimes unjustly. As a diplomat and special envoy, he faced off with some of the world's toughest dictators. More times than not, Sandoroff says Richardson knew how to talk their language and level with them to rescue Americans trapped overseas. More than once I saw Bill pull out the bottle of brandy and the fancy cigars and sit down with leaders of the state and nation and really uh, get across his messages and oftentimes be effective. With Richardson's passing, Sandoroff doesn't know who can fill in those shoes. He says his legacy speaks for itself and it comes down to the conversations he had on a global scale. Always on the phone with people, always making contacts, um, always trying to help people. I, I think that's what he'll be known for. Several nominations for the Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts in rescuing Americans overseas. The most recent nod just days before his death.